where America has done best is when it's been thinking long term. If you go back to look at the era of Abraham Lincoln and coming forward from there with the land grant colleges, with the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, with the Morrow Act, with a whole series of things that were designed, the Trans-Pacific Railroad Act that, that helped build the railroads across the West. These are things that, where they understood that if we invest big time now, we're going to reap the benefits for generations. And it, you bring it forward. Teddy Roosevelt did that again in the progressive era. They, they invested in building the inland waterways. They did conservation to protect the, the nature in this country. And then you move forward again, and you, you see it again in, in the 1950s when Dwight Eisenhower, facing Sputnik, facing the Russians, said, well, we got to get into space. And John F. Kennedy said, we'll have a race to the moon, and we'll beat the world. And we did. Dwight Eisenhower said, we need an interstate highway system. we got to connect America better. We can help industry work better. It's this interplay, this, inner, this weaving together the fabric, the tapestry of economic growth that works. It's not pulling it all apart. It's not private sector versus government sector. It's the two of them working together and understanding that the synthesis of those, the synergies from those, pay off in big time over the long term if we stick with it.